Hi, inventors. I'm Lily, the twirling tech goddess. I'm black, I dance, I'm queer, and I'm an engineer. Welcome to The Twerk Shop, a show that explicitly encourages radical diversity and inclusion by making the process of learning tech more fun, accessible, and relatable to people underrepresented in STEM. Each week, you'll come along with me as I create something fabulous using cutting edge tools and technologies. Then I'll put it through my patented twirl test to make sure that it's stage ready. That's right, we twirl with our tech because you know what they say, the family that slays together increases their socioeconomic status together. On this episode, we're coming to you live from Building 61, Boulder Library's makerspace. And today we're gonna be making one of my signature fashion accessories, sunglasses. But these aren't just any sunglasses. This specific type of sunglass has recently become the hottest trend in eyewear. Yes, honey, I'm talking about the wooden frames. I know some of you are wondering, twirling tech goddess, how you gonna make eyewear out of a dense organic material such as wood in a way that's quick, easy, and low on waste? To which I'm thinking of replying, girl, let me tell you about this tool called the CNC laser cutting machine. You know the drill by now. First, we'll learn about the hardware and software that we'll be using. Then we'll go over the materials that we'll need to use in order to create an optical fantasy fashion moment. But first, a little backstory. So last year when school first started, I knew I was gonna need access to all the different maker spaces in the area, mostly so I could learn all the things and also not feel limited in my capacity to create anything that came to mind. Some of these spaces you'll see in this series. Many of them require orientations prior to using the tools while others don't. It's kind of a safety issue and we won't name names because what's unsafe to one person might be a common experience to someone else. Needless to say though, right here at Building 61, there are classes on classes on classes that provide extra information and instruction on the use of certain tools and technologies. Now, I didn't know that I would ever want or need to use the CNC machine. Most of the tools and technologies I've discovered over time, I didn't know I needed until I learned about them. And then I was like, dang, this would have been so useful back when I was doing X, Y, and Z. So then I kind of created use cases for this new machine based off of my prior experiences. As a crafty queen, I pretty much create everything by hand. So when it comes to detailed implementation, I'm sure you can imagine it can get quite time consuming. So cut to this summer. My drag mama asked me to perform in one of her shows and it was a digital drag show. So my lazy ass thought, yay, I'll just send her one of my episodes from the twerk shop and call it a day. No. Madre was like, child, this video 15 minutes long. And I asked for a four minute, 30 second number. So I was like, okay, I have a song in mind and it don't take me no time to hammer out a costume. So I was like, fine then. For the look, I knew I wanted these rigid feathers and I pulled out my X-Acto knife and some EVA foam and suddenly I remembered, oh snap! I could use the CNC machine to cut these out and it would be so much faster. So that's what I did. And honey, let me tell you, aside from the initial setup of the images of the leaves that I wanted to cut and overcoming my struggle with which settings to use for that specific material, I had a gang of leaves lickety split. I had cut so many, I didn't even use them all. And it goes without saying that my video turned out beautifully and my costume turned out beautifully, et cetera, et cetera. Shout out to my drag mama for the design challenge that she gave me. And she still ended up playing my episode of the twerk shop cause she loved me. Shout out to felony misdemeanor, we stand. Love you, Madre. Shout out to all drag families, queer families, ballroom houses, kiki houses, chosen families. Comment below if you belong to a drag family or ballroom house and share this video with your family and let them know you love them, most of them. So what the fuck is a CNC machine? I got all this shit from the internet, by the way. Prototypehubs.com defines laser cutting in particular as the process of vaporizing, melting, or removing material gradually using a laser beam. 
Computer numerical control, or CNC, laser cutting commonly uses mirrors, a gas, and a guidance system to direct and focus the laser beam into the material. There are also CNC machines that use the same computer numeric control technology, except with the drill bit to carve into wood, and they even make a version that carves into metal. As previously stated, the benefits of CNC laser cutting include speed, less waste, and the ability to cut a broad range of materials. Prototype Hubs also says that with the rise of the maker, DIY, and hobbyist communities, CNC laser cutting continues to surge in popularity. That to me sounds like good news. It sounds like an industrial tool is being put in the hands of regular people like you and me. And quite frankly, it makes total sense that this access coincides with the rise of these maker spaces. Because let's be honest, I'm not going to go out and buy a whole damn CNC nothing. That's why we really want to take a moment to say thanks to the maker spaces that provide access to this type of technology. I would like to encourage you to research the maker spaces in your area and the tools and technologies that you have access to in those spaces. And that's on what? Computer numerical control laser cutting machines. Period. Materials. Materials that you might want to avoid using a laser on include anything that releases harmful gases when you burn it and most metals. That just sounds like good life advice to me. Materials you can use include matte board, cork board, cardboard, dark board, BVA foam, acrylic, which is basically plexiglass, regular glass, paper, leather, fabric, wood, I mean the list. Woo, chow, honey, this is the Met Gala of materials. So how does it work? Well, Zyla, an amazing engineer over at Beauty and the Bolt, describes the process like this. So you get a bunch of energy, light and gas, see? And it's trapped in a tube or a box of mirrors. And as this energy is bouncing around in this box of mirrors, it continues to build up and then it twirls its ass down that hallway of mirrors until the box can't take it no more. And it breaks out of that box! Is this the plot to my autobiography? <laughs> Then that energy shoots through a lens that focuses the laser onto the area that you want to cut. Pretty fancy, right? The strength of that laser can be the difference between etching onto a surface and cutting all the way through it. We'll touch more on laser etching in another episode where I'll be recreating the hot sauce in my bag bat from Beyonce's Hold Up music video. However, for today's project, we're gonna be using this Instructables tutorial by Trotech linked in the description to laser cut shades using a plank of wood for the frames and a sheet of acrylic for the lenses. Trotech is a Canadian company and I don't know if y'all have ever been to Canada, but personally, I stand. So, download these files from the Instructable and either email them to the computer associated with the CNC machine or put them on a flash drive and put the flash drive in the CNC machine. Then load the machine with whatever material you're gonna cut from. In our case, we'll start with the wood for the frames and then the acrylic for the lenses. And presto, changeo, alakazam! You've got a finished product. These slabs of wood can be found almost anywhere, but we'll link our favorite spots in the description. And now, a word from our sponsors. <laughs> Essentials. Today's gonna be an easy day because all we need aside from the large CNC machine, the wood and the acrylic, is super glue and maybe paint or wood stain for those of you who wanna get fancy. Crazy to think about because normally I have a table full of tools that I wanna use. However, this machine does it all in one fell swoop and all I have to do is just glue it together. That's pretty sickening. Most of these machines will already be attached to a computer, so you don't have to worry about downloading any software. And if you've seen any of our other videos that are pretty software heavy, I'm sure some of you are like, thank you, goddess. You're welcome. Now let's get started. Oh.
Look, if you have access to a CNC machine at the library or a makerspace near you, I would definitely encourage you to try this project. Comment below if you have any questions or input. Tag me in photos and videos of you decorating, painting, and rocking your new shades, remembering always, always, always that creativity breeds innovation. Now, a wearable isn't useful to me unless it's blocking UV light and all my haters. So I'm gonna go get dressed and I'll see you on the boardwalk. Like, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications before I use my Jedi mind tricks. And remember, shade came from reading. Reading came first. This program was made possible with the generous financial support of the Boulder Library Foundation. To learn more and find out how you can get involved and help fund future library programs, visit boulderlibraryfoundation.org today. I'm happy.